Ramanujan. Ramanujan was a great mathematician and I want to spend just a few moments in this video talking about him and I'm getting goosebumps right now. I'm, I'm just, I'm feeling it. Whenever I think about Ramanujan, I have this feeling that is just incredible because to me, he was probably the greatest mathematician of all time in my opinion. Ramanujan was an Indian mathematician. He was very poor and he was self-taught. His friend lent him a library copy of a book, which, which I'll try to find it and leave a link in the description of that book. And he was able to read that book and learn mathematics on his own, right? He was able to learn mathematics from that book. And that book, that book is basically a list of results. You know, it has some solved examples, some solved results, and a lot of them are actually pretty clear. But to even think that a human being would be able to learn mathematics from that book on their own is absolutely insane. And another thing about Ramanujan that freaks me out and that makes me feel like he was the best mathematician ever that has ever lived on earth is that he was poor. And I don't know about you, but when you're hungry and you're trying to think, it's very hard to think when you're hungry. And Ramanujan, I'm pretty sure he was so poor that he was hungry sometimes. He had those feelings where he was like, I need food, but I don't have any, but I have to work on mathematics. And to me, that shows an incredible amount of willpower, an incredible amount of obsession and dedication that is hard to match. I think normal people like me, I don't think I have that obsession like Ramanujan. I, I, I don't, I don't. And I don't think most people do. And I think the best we can do is to use Ramanujan as an inspiration for our own goals in life, whether they be math or something else. The fact that he was so motivated to do mathematics, the fact that he was so obsessed with mathematics shows that I think that we can do anything, right? We can, we can try to be like Ramanujan, right? That, that level of, of work ethic is what I admire more. You know, sure, Ramanujan has some crazy things he's come up with. There are some insane equations and identities that he came up with on his own, and people are still looking at them and studying them. People, people worship his work, right? People look at his work and say, who, who, what the heck is this? How, how did this man come up with this equation? Look, it's act, is, this, is this actually true? And people study, they, hey, this equation that Ramanujan states without proof is actually true. Where did he come up with it? And how did he do it? And so people look at this work that this man has done, this great man, Ramanujan, and they're like in awe, they're in shock. And this, this beautiful work, this mysterious mathematics, I'm getting goosebumps again, that he has produced, and there's so many equations that he's done, so many things he's done, so many theorems. And you wonder, how did he do it? And we look at it in awe, it's, it's, it's a product of obsession. It's a product of effort and sweat. So I look at Ramanujan and I, I don't just think he was a math genius. I think he was a man that worked harder than other men. I think he was a man that had more grit and determination than other people did. He was completely obsessed with mathematics and he had that raw willpower, that drive that we should all seek to emulate and have in our lives. I mean, if, if we could work as hard as Ramanujan did, we would be, we would be great, right? We would be great. There's a movie, there was a movie based on Ramanujan. It's kind of a slow movie. It's been a while since I've watched it. And the Ramanujan movie is good because it shows his life it shows him as a humble man who, who worked hard and it was a very good movie. Not, not super action packed and slow, slow paced movie, but very good. So I recommend watching that movie if you're into Ramanujan and check out the book. I'll, I'll leave a link in the description in case you want to check it out. It's kind of a fun book. It, it'll kind of make you even wonder more how, how a human being was able to learn so much mathematics on their own accord, you know? And again, people look at Ramanujan and they say, oh, he, he was a math genius. Yes, he was a math genius. And there's other great mathematicians in the world today who are extremely good at math. But what, what sets Ramanujan apart, what sets him apart is that he was self-taught. 
he was poor, so he didn't have all the advantages people have today. Right? That, that, that to me is huge. And the mystery surrounding his work, just that the fact that he came up with these things on his own, by himself, you know, I mean, people go to college today, right, and they have books and they have solutions and it's, it's just so much easier. He came up with these mysterious things on his own through just pure, I wanna say blood, sweat, and tears, but you get the idea, right? Just grinding on it every day, pure obsession. And so it makes you wonder, like, if, if you want something in life, if there's something you're trying to do, if there's something you're trying to learn, even if it's not mathematics, if, if you could put in even just half the effort, even just half the effort that Ramanujan put in, you, you'd be amazing. And, and again, I, I truly believe that Ramanujan had a gift. I truly believe that he was a math genius and he was naturally brilliant. But I think, I think it, it has to be about the hard work. And I say this because I've had thousands of students, okay? I've taught hundreds of classes. I was in graduate school. I was surrounded by people from all over the world. India, China, Greece, Italy, the United States, Germany, Saudi Arabia. I mean, I've known people from all over the world who are incredibly good at mathematics. People who are much better than me. People who have more ability than I do. And they struggle. And they have to work incredibly hard. So I know, I know that to be as great as Ramanujan, you have to work incredibly hard. He must have worked incredibly hard. I don't care how smart he was. I don't know him. I don't know how smart he was, but I refuse to believe that it was just pure talent. It had to be blood, sweat, and tears. It had to be hard work. And that's what makes me respect Ramanujan so much because I know, I know that man worked harder than most people do, right? And it's, it's the hard work that I admire and it's the hard work you should admire. So the next time you're thinking, oh, Ramanujan was a math genius. Yes, he was a math genius but try to respect the level of work that that man put in. You know, people, people glamorize, even in the movies, even in the Ramanujan movie or the other movie, A Beautiful Mind, that was a good one, or Good Will Hunting, another good math movie. People glamorize math. Oh, he's a math genius, he's born a genius. It's the work they put in, right? Math is hard for everyone. Ramanujan struggled too. He just put in more work than everyone else. He just worked harder than everyone else. Yes, he had natural talent, but you have to work at mathematics, my friends. You have to work at it. And it is scary, you know, you look at, you go on Wikipedia and you look at some of those equations that he came up with and it's creepy, it's almost scary. You wonder how, how can this man produce, how can he produce this type of mathematics on his own? How is it possible, you know? And every time I look at that stuff, I just think, wow, wow, how, how, and it's just, an incredible drive, an incredible self-motivation. Yes, there was some talent, but my friends, I'm telling you, I, I have known so many smart people in my life and we all, all these smart people, they have to work incredibly hard. Ramanujan was no exception, no exception. I refuse to believe that he was like, you know, the smartest mathematician ever to live. I think he just worked harder than everyone else. He had this obsession with it. And that's why I think he's so great. And that's why I admire him. I just wanted to make this random video about him. I was, I was doing something else and I was thinking about him. I thought, let me just come out here, get some air, talk about Ramanujan because I don't think, I don't think he gets the respect that he deserves. Yes, people look at him and they call him a genius, but he was not just a math genius, right? He was a man who put in the work every day. He was a man that grinded before grind was a word. He was a man that believed in doing hard things before David Goggins came out and said it. He was a guy who grinded in the past and he was poor. He had nothing, right? And he still was able to rise to the top and produce things that the world is still in awe of. That, my friends, deserves the most respect right there. Not, not just because he was smart. It is the work he put in. And that's what I wanted to say. I'll, I'll, I'll look for the book. It's on Amazon. I have a, a, a reprint of it, I have a copy of it. I'll put a link in the description in case you wanna check it out, the, the book that he used to, to teach himself mathematics. I've got math books if you wanna learn, they're much easier, links in the description. I've got math courses, links in the description, all kinds of courses, algebra, calculus one, two, three, differential equations, advanced calculus, abstract algebra. Check out my other channels, Internet Sorcerer, Math Sorcerer Espanol. Check out my Facebook, TikTok, Instagram,
Ramanujan though. So I just, I just think people idolize math geniuses, you know, and not just Ramanujan, but other people who were good at math. We look at them in awe and we forget, we forget that they're mortal, they're human. They have to work just as hard as we do, my friends, right? Just because you have natural ability doesn't mean you don't have to work hard. I have known incredibly smart people and they all have to work incredibly hard, right? And so Ramanujan, I don't think he was any different. I don't, and I don't wanna bash Ramanujan. I'm not saying he wasn't smart. I just think that he worked harder than other people. He was naturally smart. He had a gift for sure, but he had a drive. He had a motivation, an obsession that people like me and you, we just don't have it, right? We, we just don't have it. And the best we can do is respect him for his work and try to emulate it. And, and maybe you do have it. Maybe you just haven't found it yet, right? Maybe you just haven't found it yet. Maybe you do have it. I don't know, right? Keep working on math. Do the best you can. When you look at people like Ramanujan, don't just say, oh, he was a math genius. He was a math genius, but he was also a man who worked incredibly hard and had, has made incredible contributions to the field of mathematics. So no matter where you are in your level of math, if you're just beginning, or if you're a professional mathematician and you're doing research, or you're in graduate school, or you're an undergrad, doesn't matter. Respect the man's work, right? respect his work, because you know it. You, you, you know, if you are doing higher level mathematics, if you are doing proof level mathematics, if you are in grad school, or if you're already done with grad school, you know how hard math is. You know how hard you had to work, and you know how hard your classmates had to work. So when you look at Ramanujan, it makes sense that he had to work just as hard or even 20 times harder based on the results he produced, right? It's kind of like Paul Erdos. You know, Paul Erdos was a, a famous Hungarian mathematician and the man was brilliant, right? He would go door to door, he would go door to door and knock on people's doors. My mind is open, he would say. And he, would, he collaborated with so many mathematicians. You know, if you collaborated with Erdos on a paper, you have an Erdos number of two. And then if you collaborated with someone who collaborated with him, you have an Erdos number of three. It's kind of like the Kevin Bacon number. I have a friend who has an Erdos number. Paul Erdos though, another example of obsession, right? I don't want to derail. This video is about Ramanuja, not Erdos, but Erdos is also a man who, a lot of respect, right? for Paul Erdos, a lot of contributions. So people like that, like Ramanujan, like Erdos, like Galois, I mean, the guy invented Galois theory and died in a duel in his 20s, right? Come on, crazy. People like that, you have to have respect for the work they put in. You have to have respect for the work. It's not just about the gift. It's about the grind, my friends. It's about the grind. Stay strong.